Category five, you're saying category, that's yeah. tremendous for it, this area. It right? is. And this is actually the second time they've been hit in just a couple of weeks. If you remember, Ada slammed them as a major right. hurricane with intense flooding, lots of wind damage. And now we're dealing with this. Look at the children. I mean, it, Ugh, it's literally heartbreaking. heartbreaking Nicaragua, to watch right? this. Yeah. yeah, Nicaragua up to Honduras going to be impacted greatly over the next 24 hours. So, our Look thoughts and that. prayers yeah. with Central America for sure, because here's what it looks like on our satellite imagery right now. It, it almost looks like from space a thing of beauty, but it's a fierce thing of beauty in the weather world. We're looking at 160 miles per hour winds at the center of circulation. Here's the eye of that storm and coastal Nicaragua is not far off. We're talking just maybe a couple hundred miles at most, and this is expected to make landfall early tomorrow morning. It's moving at about nine miles an hour right now, and it's expected to move inland overnight, quickly dissipating to a tropical storm by Wednesday, but it's still going to have tropical storm force winds felt nearly 150 miles from the center of that circulation. You may be thinking, wait a second, and didn't Ada move into Central America and then back out into the Western Caribbean? Yes, but IOTA is not going to do that. I wanted to show you a quick comparison. They're actually nearly making the exact same landfall, but IOTA will travel inland while, I, while Ada actually hooked back to the north and then out into the Western Caribbean. That will not be the case with IOTA.